Hey guys, what's up? This is Insane Quality Gaming here, and I'm making a video which is requested by a couple of other YouTubers. Uh, they saw my quality test of my HDP VR, and they asked me to make a video on how to get the best render settings and um, record settings and whatever settings you need to get pretty good quality with a Hardpark HDP VR. Sorry for my voice, really messed up. I have no idea why. Um, alright, so the first thing you gotta do is open Total Media Extreme. Um, this is the software you got with which comes with the HDP VR. So, first you open that problem and then you go to Record Video. And I'm gonna close this one. And now it's gonna load for a second. And right now you can see my PlayStation. Um, so this is my PlayStation. What you can see right now, you can see it on the screen as well as on my TV. And right now you go right here to record, and that's how you record normally. But first, make sure this. Is exactly as right here. It's IBPPR is the video entrance, and the audio is RCA back, and the PC audio mode is two channel stereo. Now go to format settings right here. Oh, and make sure this is on PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, depends on what you have. You don't have to use AVC HD. All right now. Drag this quality all the way up to best, 13.5 megabytes per second, and keep it on constant bitrate. It's gonna give you the best quality. Now you don't have to do anything with this. Just keep this. Don't don't click those boxes. Let this on three, three. Use AC3 audio encoder. If you use AAC audio encoder, you're only getting audio, no video. So make sure you use AC3 audio encoder. If you want background music and stuff, if you use AAC, you will not get any background sounds. You will only get the video. So if you want like your shots recorded, use AC3. Then click apply and then OK. Now I'm gonna close this. All right, and then open Vegas Pro. Doesn't mean doesn't care what which one. I have nine and ten. I'm gonna use nine now. I'm used to 9. Alright, now I'm gonna import, import a small video, but first go to File and then go to Properties. Well, I'm, I already have a template for this. I'm going for, to my template right now. Alright, the width have to be 1280 and the height 720. That's HD. Field order, order, keep it on none, progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio 1.0000 square. Output ratio 0. Frame rate, keep that on. 29.97 NTCS. Now go to pixel format, and that has to be 32 bit floating point full range. Compositing gamma 1000 linear. Full resolution rendering quality. Keep that on best. It's going to give you a, a good quality. And that's what people want. People don't want to see just your good skills and stuff because if you have a really nice video and it's like desert quality, people are gonna leave and watch another video. Um, keep your motion blur type caution and deinterlace method interpolate fields. Click this button and you can click this button to to start all your new pro projects with the settings but right right now I'm not just recording with an HDP VR I'm recording with another program uh, so I'm not gonna press that because I still use the other settings um, click apply and OK and I'm gonna import some media right now 
um, I'm going to import my intro. All right, so right now it's building a peak. Uh, one second, Project Media. One second, um, video preview. All right, so this is my intro, and uh, let's say this is a video, and I edit it, and I'm done editing, and I've put all my shit on it, and right now I'm ready to upload. Well, not yet. You have to go to file and render as. Now, this is my folder in which I render all my videos which are done. Uh, name it, give it a test or whatever the client name you want. Um, save as. Keep that on main concept AVC slash AAC. Um, ma many people think that dot mp4 is not hd but you can change it here with custom um, a lot of guys just want to put it on uh, dot mov or mvv um, this we wmv is really good for watching and playing it back as on as your computer so if you render it as this it's really nice on your computer but on youtube it doesn't look that good so Keeping on main concept AVC slash AAC, I did Windows Media video before and I thought that was the best, but I was wrong. Keep it on main concept. Now you can get a template here too. Go to custom and click include video, custom frame size. Keep this with 1280. 720 that's HD it's still mp4 but it's still HD so you can save it as an like a modded dot mp4 keep the profile on main allow source to adjust frame size frame rate the same as your project media settings 29 but 97 uh, allow source to adjust frame rate field other non progressive scan right as I told you at the project media settings um, pixel, pixel aspect just keep it on 1.0000 same as in the um, render settings and the project media settings the properties number of reference frames keep that on 4 and use the blocking filter um, keep it on constant bit rate but before you do that go to variable bit rate make this maximum 13.500.000 and average on 7680,000. So just keep it on this. And I go to constant bit rate, and a lot of people just do like what says right here 13.500.100, and it's gonna give you the best quality. Um, these two have to match, and when we were in the total media extreme format settings we did it at best quality 13.5 megabytes that is 13.500.000 megabytes per second bits per second so I'm just gonna keep it on 14 million um, it's gonna give you a really good quality go to project video rendering quality keep it on best press OK and then you can save it and render it and it's done but before you do that I'm gonna cancel it right now sometimes it can get really slow by the way um, press properties and press disable resample so that makes it a lot much clearer and that's it